yep back out this time just testing the audio been a while since I've been out in the last time that last video <laughs> it's a bit of a bit of a catastrophe like I left it up anyway it was nice scenery so I'm just out and about in Blythe local area just down in the park just on my bike I only just come out just to, just to try this out it's a nice day it's probably the only day this week it hasn't rained well for two weeks or something it's crazy the weather this is the bird hide bird screen Friends of Blythe, bird screen. Not much birds in there, like. I think they're all dead. But yeah, I'm just gonna put the I'm gonna put the camera on the front of the bike here. Let's go for a tour around local landmarks and see what we can find. It's not really a, a worthy video. I'm just really I'm just testing the audio out after that last debacle. So this, this is the original Blythe Lighthouse, built in 1329, which is about half one. Not many people know about this, hidden away. All this over here is reclaimed land. This used to be the, the edge of the harbour. No, it's not. Really? All right. Ah, oh. come on. <laughs> I died. Just creeped up behind us. And then we come here. Ooh. Rocket House. See, that's uh, this is where the shore was. It's the lighthouse. That's where the shore was. No harbour. 1895, 18, 59. A lot of uh, a lot of good the lighthouse did. Just ran aground, wrecked. Good. Good one. <laughs> this is the rocket house anyway. We're down on the harbour now. This is where um, All About the Views got his name from. I don't think there's any red relation. The fishing boat in. Oh god, it's decking slippy. This is a tall ship, Williams 2. I'm gonna take this, uh, I've got the camera on the bike, I'm gonna take it off. William Smith and his ship, the Williams made the first sighting of land in Antarctica not that ship like that's a replica lad it's only 70 centimeters shorter than the original <laughs> the first sighting of land in Antarctica who knew
No gun. It's the grain silo. Grain from where now? Could be coal. I don't know. I have to research that like. Over there is where I used to go fishing when I was a lad with my dad. Over on that old rickety old pier there and then that one. That's Camus over there. We used to fish here as well, like all the other coach crabs. <laughs> Come to Blythe and Cratch crabs. Catch them even. Yeah, the tide's high. There's not much else to show really. I'm gonna go back along where I came from. Nip down on the beach and then I think that's it. That thing there. That, believe it or not, is a train sculpture. What we'll do is we'll, we'll take you around there and we'll show you how it works. Bear with it. There you go. See how it's a train? Sun's hitting it as well. <laughs> Amazing, eh? on the beach. Look at them all in the water. Like sea lions. Let's go around here. It's not even this busy in the summer, you know. There's the best chip shop and ice cream shop in Blythe. Coastline. Lovely, but the queues are all huge. Which, if there's a big queue, it normally tells you that it's good, doesn't it? Come along here to the beach huts. I'm sure you've seen these before. You can rent them. Nice on a nice warm summer's evening.
started by the battery. Gonna go back along. Bit of enduro. <laughs> but it was exciting as it gets. Right, I'm heading back now, so that's it. That concludes the tour of my little area. I must have done three miles. See what the audio is like. <laughs>